Hey, what's up, guys? Camp Rusher here. Lots of Season 4 leaks today. Some confirmed, some we gotta debate if it's real or not. Some fun stuff to talk about. Cinematic trailer first here for Fortnite times Destiny 2. Uh, the collab's already uh, started, yet happened yesterday, and what are your thoughts right away? Do you like the skins? I think the trailer's super high quality. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, I think I will be picking up at least one of the skins. I don't know. I don't play Destiny, so I'm just going based off of the look. Kind of like the dude in red. Kind of like all three of them, though. I don't know my favorite. I'm going to go with the dude in red. All right, that's my choice. What are your thoughts out of 10? Are you are you liking the skins? Are you liking the collab? Uh, there's also a creative map as well. I'm probably going to try that out tonight and put it in tomorrow's gameplay just to give it a shot. Um, and also in Destiny, there is a battle bus in the new Destiny season, apparently. Right? Here's the, I'm showing you, showing you what it looks like in game. So a cool little collab. I believe they're doing something with Fall Guys as well. But one of the secrets that was hidden within the Destiny cinematic trailer is a few pixels of the upcoming Moss Knight skin. It's not a great look, but I think this means the skin will be coming soon, upcoming soon, and uh, they, they like hiding little teasers within trailer announcements, collab announcements, things like that. They're crushing it with the collabs lately. I keep saying it. It just keeps getting better and better. Uh, I can't wait to see what's next. Reminder, uh, we got an update happening next Tuesday, so less than a week from now. Massive update. Then uh, another downtime update, uh, probably the week after. And then it's season four. So subscribe, turn your noties on. I'll keep you up to date on all things Fortnite. Dead Island 2 is going to be exclusive to Epic Game Store on PC when it releases, according to Nibelian, which is a huge possibility, of course, for a Fortnite collab. They usually line these things up, so just a chance. They also announced, Epic announced, that Fortnite Late Game Arena will return on the 30th. This is one of my favorite modes. I might have to jump back on. I, I haven't been playing uh, much builds lately. You guys know lots of zero build. Uh, honestly, the buddies like it. I like it. It's, it's fresh. So I've just been playing it a lot. I play what's fun, man. Uh, but with that, this was one of the best uh, build modes. So it, it might bring me back. Several members of the seven, we have talked about this, but this is kind of the storyline, have disappeared from the island. The foundation, the visitor, and the sisters. And there's actually little pieces of of you know their armor their weaponry lying around the map i think it's attached to quests uh but regardless storyline wise this is what's leading us into the new season something is happening one thing we're trying to debate here is maybe there's been a time jump because why why is foundation missing when at the end of last season he's he's supposed to be missing right him and jones were they went into jano's reality to go explore and try and find him uh, but then he was all the all of a sudden back and now he, he he's missing again. So we're thinking maybe a time jump happened, right? Some, some other people were saying maybe none of the seven knew that the foundation went in there, but that seems a little weird too. It seems a little messy. I think there's been a jump. I'm sure we're going to learn more in even the next week, right? With the next Zero War comic and then the final Zero War comic going into season four. There's lots of storyline stuff coming. We know there is. The, the break is over. It's time to ramp it back up again. Cool detail. As the first time Goku goes Super Saiyan, he is exactly 150 million power level. So when you pass 150 million in the Dragon Ball Battle Pass, he replaces is the rest of the uh, DB super skins okay so that's what's going on uh, just a, I don't know a, a little Easter egg hidden with that within that battle pass who's done a lot of you guys done yet in before paradigm is Brie Larson we got to talk about this you guys so it has been confirmed that paradigm and singularity are not the same person this gets people angry, and I understand why. But we're gonna go, through, we're gonna break it down a little bit, and then you can form your own opinion. So the first opinion is kind of separate from it, but maybe connected. That Brie Larson is going to end up being Paradigm, similar to how The Rock was Foundation. This is not confirmed yet, um, but you know, if, if if she is, Fitzy just made this little picture to to give us a a look at maybe what it looks like. I, I think he just took the. Uh, the head of Captain Marvel or something and stuck it on Paradigm. But you get the point. The unmasking thing would happen. Just like The Rock, it was kind of epic. And we'll go from there. Donald Mustard said that he was purposely misdirecting us with the Paradigm and the Singularity. Now, so, the people are thinking this is a big deal. And the, and the biggest debate is, was this part of the plan the entire time? Okay, or have they retcon, which is basically just switch the storyline completely? It would be an inconsistency, really, right? Uh, going back on what the original plan was, storyline wise, uh, it, what, was this retcon? Was this, or was it the plan the whole time? I got points for both here, and I'm going to let you decide. So, this is 
Uh, this is the, the argument for this being a retcon, some inconsistencies, and why this wasn't part of the plan the whole time. Okay, Singularity is wearing a pilot suit and helmet, not an engineering one. Singularity statue and tilted implies she's a legendary hero. She was the guardian of the vault before it was excavated and therefore has intimate knowledge on the zero point. Her statue was secretly a sword. The person piloting the mech had to know where the zero point was and that the statue was actually a sword. There was no implication that anyone other than her was the pilot before Donald Mustard said so. The similarities in the suit also, uh, you know, kind of made us feel like they were the same. But that that still could go with the the misdirection that, that Donald's talking about. Singularity has never been seen again after the event, but after her disappearance, Paradigm is suddenly there. Singularity and Paradigm are wearing the same pilot suit, right? That we talked about that. Those are some of the points. Okay, now I was starting to think that I was honestly fully on board, but then I saw this post today, and it's getting some traction. I I, I gotta be honest. Uh, I gotta be honest with you. So. Armor differences, first off, right? There are some differences. There are some similarities. I think the suit, we can't really focus on that because that could go with the misdirecting uh, storyline easily, right? Just that they're similar. They're not exactly the same. The mech builder plot hole uh, is, you know, there, there's some plot or some things here from the comics. You remember the mecha, the paradigm built. Sure, Paradigm was involved in the building of the mech. A lot of folks were, but she wasn't the boss, right? The, the explanation is that Singularity was the builder and that uh, Paradigm helped build it and then Paradigm piloted it, right? And that is all backed up in all the Zero War comics. And you can see she, Paradigm, helped them IO Singularity because the Singularity officially worked for the IO. That's what the new storyline is. Or maybe it was planned all along. That's this debate. Helped build the giant robot. Here's the real problem though, and this is a good point. The existence of the vault and Singularity's desk is the biggest problem with her being Paradigm. As revealed in Resistance Quest, Paradigm was a prisoner of the IO. As Zero War reveals, she only helped the IO with the mech to save the island. And then we have Singularity. She was guarding the zero point for the IO since day one of us knowing Knowing about her either paradigm is a liar and a traitor or she's not singularity and this was the point that convinced me so if you have anything to add to this let me know right but the mass she was the defender of zero point she was working for io the entire time and therefore she cannot be paradigm because paradigm only helped build the thing pilot the thing to save the save the island so that uh, that was a major one that convinced me honestly singularity's wearing a pilot suit helmet i think even that like right right i don't think that really makes much sense her staff you had the suit her helmet was in the vault and this was before we even knew about the mech and yes she's related to the mech she 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 was in charge of building the thing so she has styles related to the mech i don't think that really proves anything either problem part two donald mustard says singularity is paradigm he didn't he says she has other names and will be important that does not mean she is paradigm that's part of the misdirection and the armor is the same we've talked about that it's similar could have been part of the misdirection what are your thoughts? What are your final thoughts on that? Let me know down below. There's a lot of theories going on that next season is going to be full of throwbacks for Battle Royale's fifth anniversary because lots of the leaks suggested. You know, if you're a subscriber of mine, there are a lot of things coming back that we've learned about the files. Basically, Hypex says this. If this happens, I hope they replace the current loot pool with some of these for a limited time and it would actually make it one of the most, most fun seasons. And I agree. I see at least seven things in there that I really, really want. Chug Jug, Pump, Scar, uh, Trap, maybe. Bubble Shield, yes. Tack Shotgun, I think, is for sure coming back, by the way. Guided Missile, the Drift Boards, uh, and, and much more. Thanks for watching. Take care. Touch that like button. Talk soon. Goodbye.